In central Ukraine, there's been further shelling this week in the city of Dnipro, where Russian forces have been targeting railway infrastructure. Our reporter, Luke Schrego, is in the city. From there, he sent us this report. As Russia increasingly targets infrastructure, Ukraine is bracing for further strikes across its territory. A means to prevent the flow of Western weaponry making its way into Ukrainian troops' hands, it seems likely the Kremlin hopes it'll give its own forces some breathing room as they struggle to make headway in their offensive. However, the mayor of Dnipro in Ukraine's east thinks they may already be too late for it to make much difference. It goes without saying we're afraid that they'll bomb infrastructure. They already are. We actually don't know what their plans are. I think, and Israeli military experts told me, that logistically they can't stop it, even if they bomb the bridges. The Israelis said what surprised them was that for the war to be a success, the Russians should have bombed us immediately for five days straight without stopping. But they thought we'd welcome them with flowers and that we would be afraid that the government would run away, that Zelensky would fly to London, and that illusion has made everything clear. Ahead of the annual May 9th Victory Day holiday in Russia, it seems almost certain that Moscow will want to present Russians with another win. Ukraine, though, is just as determined to make any such victory as costly as possible.